Sam Mullig is a lot like many boys his age. He likes to surf, he enjoys playing sports, and he's a huge Star Wars fan. I got into Star Wars two, three years ago, and never really let go of it. <laughs> but there is one big difference. Sam was born a girl. When he started preschool at age three, he would play more as the boys played. At the age of nine, feeling trapped in the wrong body, he started having thoughts of suicide. It wasn't until, um, until he was like nine, nine and a half, he just started having these crying fits for no reason. And, you know, we'd try and figure out what was going on and he would just say, I don't know, I don't know. It was because of the puberty, because I thought I'm a boy. Boys don't have breasts. Why is this happening to me? And so the thought of that, that gave the anxiety and the, the depression. Researchers from the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention and the Williams Institute at UCLA School of Law found that four out of 10 transgender people have attempted suicide sometime in their lives. Because people undergo trauma going through the wrong puberty. Puberty's bad enough, but if it's the wrong one, it's really bad. Dr. Johanna Olson Kennedy is the medical director at the Center for Trans Youth Health and Development at Children's Hospital Los Angeles. These youth that are going through the wrong puberty, it's a very precarious time. That's when I worry that, about them because there's enormous rates of self-harm, cutting, burning, and other kinds of bodily harm that's self-inflicted, but also depression, anxiety, and suicidality. Sam's mother was determined to get to the bottom of what was causing her child's woes. She talked with Sam's psychiatrist, and they concluded that Sam was dealing with issues surrounding his gender. When Sam was almost 12, he started taking hormone blockers. About six months after he had been in, on the blockers, that one morning he was sitting at the counter at breakfast and he said, hey mom, did you notice anything today? And I looked at him thinking, now what? Like, no, what should I have noticed? And he said, I'm happy. Sam started taking testosterone in July 2014. This past July, nearly three months before his 15th birthday, Sam and his family traveled to Thousand Oaks, California to have his breasts removed. I'm finally getting rid of something that has bothered me for the past several years and it's good to be rid of it. Plastic surgeons remove Sam's breast tissue through a tiny incision in the undersurface of his nipples. Sam? Hi, how are you? We're all done with your surgery. You did great. Everything went wonderful. Dr. Zoll Krieger says they work closely with therapists, doctors, and patients' families before performing these surgeries. Still, he knows people say it's irresponsible for a doctor or a parent to allow a young child to undergo life-altering surgery. But he says this is not cosmetic surgery. He says it's functional, reconstructive surgery. Take a young boy with breasts who was born a boy, who's always been a boy, but somehow he has a tumor or some other condition that causes him to grow breasts. Everything that he would have to go through with the breasts, well, really, this is no different. This is someone who was born as a girl, but who has always felt that they were a boy and now has been living for years as a boy and now has this abnormality with their, with their body and, and going through life with a tremendous abnormality and being very different is very difficult. The problem is that people who say, isn't that too young, they're thinking, Sam is a girl and how can you remove this body part on this young girl? But that's not what's happening. Sam is a boy who has breasts. Sam needs a male chest in order to walk in the world authentically. Sam's parents say they fought insurance companies for years to get to this point, but they say it's well worth it knowing Sam can be himself. I mean, it's just touching for, for me to um, see him be able to do that. You know he's going to be happy. Oh, yeah. And proud. And I am so proud of him. 
I hope that he just lives the happiest life that he can live, because he deserves it. Six weeks after his chest surgery, Sam celebrated by taking off his shirt and jumping in the pool with his friends. <laughs> It was amazing, this feeling. I've been excited about it, I've been happy about it, but then in that moment when the other guys took off their shirt and jumped in the pool with him, I was sitting poolside and I got choked up because I know what this day has meant to him. Sam hasn't decided whether he'll have other gender reassignment surgeries. For now, he just wants to enjoy life as a teenage boy. This is who I am, this is what my life is going to be like, and I'm going to live it proudly.